How y'all doing? Spitting Tax Upholstery, I'm Colt. Spokane, Washington, out here in Airway Heights. Been gone for a minute. Busy, busy, busy. It's boat season. But I'm back. So, what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna jump through some things. I don't have a lot of time. I gotta get this done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk fast. We're doing gunnels, okay? Gunnels, the sides of the boat that go around into the front. This is an old bay liner. It's gotta be like an 86. She spent more money on the, on the upholstery than she paid for the boat. She's an airline stewardess friend of ours and uh, good people lives out at the lake. And anyway, friend of hers gave her the boat and uh, it means a lot to her. So it doesn't, money's not an option, which I really appreciate. Uh, and that's usually the case with furniture and upholstery and stuff. It's like, that was my grandpa's, that was my dad's. You know, and you wind up paying, I mean, you could buy three chairs for what you'll pay for the stuff you do. So, you know, that's a, that's a thing. Well, today, if you want to come over here and look, this is, this is the, uh, the sides of inside the boat where we sit. This is what we just finished. And this is some of our work. Okay. Outstanding. And I'm going to show you how the grain of the vinyl in this particular instance you know, it all matches up and that's what we're doing over there. But we finished, we finished the big pieces here and now we're working on the small stuff. We're almost done. We got a bunch of other stuff to do for her, but this concept here. Okay. Now these are mirror images. If you look, you see this, you see how they turn out right here on the ends. Okay. Now she changed the theme of her boat. She's going to keep the blue. We're going to get rid of the red piping and we're going to use white. A, a, a corrugated kind of grain textured white. Looks really cool. Um, so the white is now red. The blue is still blue and the piping is going to be white, like I said. So that's a two part piece. I don't know if we'll get that far, but I'm gonna show you some stratagems <coughs> on uh, how you do this. If you'll notice, see this seams here and you can put your fingers in here. See how that pulls apart? It's, 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 it's flat and yet you can pull it apart. You know why that is? They didn't do it exactly correctly. I'll show you how to do that in just on right now. But, um, so you can put a screw in this. So they look like they float. Okay. And generally like these are the, the white is the top. Okay. So I'm standing at the window in the boat. That's, that's, Stage right, that's stage left. This is stage left over here. So they float. Generally, oh, I got a sliver. You want to put your screws in up here on top and then leave one open for the bottom. Never do it in the middle. Forget about the middle, okay? I'm going to show you what that means. You're always going to, you want it to run tight to the lip of the edge of the outside of the boat, okay? So therefore, you, you'll leave, you, you're gonna leave room, like right here, see this? On these spots, these spots, and these spots in that spot, and then down here, do it anyway. Get into the habit of doing that, leaving pockets to fold back. You make your foam a little bit bigger. You put toppers on it. If you'll notice the original foam here, and then I put a topper of a quarter inch scrim. You know me, I'm a weirdo. I like to use scrim on everything because it's just beefy and it's my thing. Uh, but you can use uh, just another piece of foam, but you see that quarter inch overlap that I did? That's so, you see this top edge here? That's hard as a rock. You want a little piece of foam to come over that. That's what this is. That's what that lip is. People overlook that. No, you want that to round and then it won't wear because see this right here? She was putting tape and colored tape and shit on, or excuse my language i'm sorry on the top there because it started to wear it won't wear as bad if there's some foam there and you scrim because it has this fabric backing on it and in this application you want that scrim up and i have had people say well what is it scrim down scrim up it depends on what you're doing the fabric up because that gives it some muscle that gives it some abrasion factor, okay? See what I mean? Other applications call for the scrim down always. 
You know why? Because when you're sewing through it, that hook and loop picks up that thread and keeps your thread from coming through the top of your finished vinyl leather fabric, whatever it may, or um, yeah, whatever it may be. Okay, so I scrolled off there. <clears throat> what we're doing now, okay, you see this? They're mirror images. This is gonna be this. So you take it apart. One, two, three, four, five panels. See how they line up? Okay, and then you have this one that goes down here like this, and there's a piece of piping in the middle. You sew those two pieces together. You sew in and fold over and under always. This is a different lesson altogether. So, what you do is, is this is, isn't rocket science. If you'll notice the, the pattern here, look at the little, the little rectangles, okay? The rectangles go this way. It's not like this. The rectangles go down. So you have to be mindful of matching those up. So when you cut it out and you lay out your big roll of this particular vinyl, marine vinyl, you wanna make sure that you trace your pattern out accordingly and use it to where you get every square inch of it that you can. So let's say it's rolled out here. I lay this on top. I just grab a piece of chalk and rough outline. Bam, 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 bam. That's all this is. This is way too big, but it's not so big that I'm costing myself money, okay? The original pattern, so what is this, number four? This is the original pattern. So that's number four. You can get an idea. That's what I did. So I, I'm, not, I'm not wasting fabric, but I gave myself enough wiggle room, okay? So when you're tracing out, don't overthink it. Lay them down. You don't got to iron these out when you're doing stuff like this. Just get it a little bit bigger, okay? Cool. Moving on. So, how you do this is, okay, I forgot I glued this down, but if you come over here, you'll look and see. So look at the spacing on this, see that? I put like four or five staples here, skipped about an inch, put two staples, and put about four staples on the end. That's that pocket. Then I glued my foam down with the scrim side up. When, before, before I stapled this down, I made sure that, you see this? You see how, how the rectangles all match up? Match them up. That's why you leave it long on the end so you can, you can move it left and right. I know I'm going quick, but this is all you're gonna get. So then you come up, you staple it down, Make sure that foam is butted right up to there. Now, when you put this over here like this, you're gonna stick your finger in there and you're gonna fill that pocket. That's where you're gonna hide a screw to screw this into the side of the boat. It's not hard, don't overthink it, okay? So that's what I've done, I've lined it up. First, you line it up, you staple it down, okay? Four on the top, four on the bottom, two in the middle. You got that little pocket and you've, you've Folded it in about an inch. You can come back and cut that off. I like to do that. I'm really weird about that. I like stuff tidy. <clears throat> so, we're going to fold it over, but we're not going to pull it too tight. Your main focus here, you see how this is? See how that's straight? You see how it's crooked now? You see how it's crooked up? We want to go right in the middle and just line it up. Relax. And how you do this is you go end to end. Underneath first, staple it down, make sure it's lined up, but don't pull it so far apart to where it's gonna separate. You see how this is? Same principle. See that little dimple, that little dimple, that little dimple, that little dimple? That's all we're going for, you see that? That one's done. But it's got that pocket, it's got that pocket. Four on the top, four on the bottom, two in the middle. And go right up to the foam that you're walking away from. It's usually always left to right, okay? So see that, we staple it down first. Four on the top, four on the bottom, two in the middle. Put the foam down with the scrim side up. Steam your foam first. Okay, I steamed this out with this steamer. This is a really good one. You don't have to buy the real huge one unless you're, um, you're doing big, big things. You know, huge pieces of foam. This kind of stuff, this is, I mean, this thing is awesome. They're about 350 bucks. Okay, so 
Then you fold it over, you make sure it's lined up, you pull it just tight enough to where it's not distorted. Your eye is gonna tell you. Like I always say, you know, your eye don't lie. So line it up to where the rectangles are all perfect, okay? And then a lot of this is eye shot. You'll bring it, and then you'll go staple. Two, and then you'll bring it back, see where you're at so you don't get lost. Bring it down, go staple, go staple. Bring it up to the top, find your edge. Leave this top piece open. There's a reason for that, because when you go to stretch it over, you adjust as you go. Okay, so as you can see, we got that good enough. And then the rest of the height will come down when we pull out these two pieces. <laughs> so what I like to do is, now if you come over here and get a better picture for them. So we folded it under, good side down, butted up against this, okay? Four on the top, two in the middle, four on the bottom. Glued the foam down. Made sure we had a overlaid lip right here. See how that comes over a little bit? So when we go to wrap it, it's gonna, it's gonna, you're not gonna have that hard edge. Okay, so we've got it lined up here. I just explained that principle. This is another version of that. But when you staple this down, it doesn't matter. This isn't the pocket. The other piece, number four in this instance, see this? It's gonna come out like this. Remember I said good side to good side? And then it's going to fold over like that, see? But you just have to line it up. And then we go four on the top, two in the middle, four on the bottom. That's what this is. This doesn't matter because you're going to trim this off. But you want more than enough. Okay, so you get this done. You get it where you like it. Don't pull it too tight because it will defeat what you're doing. You want to hide that screw. And that's what this is. It gives you an option on top. And it gives you an option on bottom. Not quite to each edge. Killer. You'll never fail. You'll always find a place to find purchase for a screw. Purchase meaning you're going to asphyx this back to the boat. And no one's going to see where that screw's at. Okay. So now, end to end. This one's secure. This one's secure. I like it. It's tight. Okay. Now... I'm gonna hold my hand on the top here. I'm gonna look down on the bottom. You see my, my witness mark lines? I'm gonna come down and I like to, I'll look and I'll come in just above the line. You see how that flattened out that edge? That's how you do it. Before any corner when you're doing this, you do it like that. And then you come up here and you, you, you keep your, you wanna push it down and keep your staple perfectly aligned. You see that? Keep your staples perfectly aligned. And then look once in a while, make sure, because sometimes they'll ride up at an angle. Nothing's perfect. Human beings make these. And then as you go, you kind of pull back. See that? That's, that's called as good as it gets. See that, how those staples all line up? Boom, boom. Yeah, and then you'll come through like this. Then you'll butt up, and then you'll butt up like that, okay? That is, that's how it's done. So now, I like to come through with my razor. Bam, bam, buy a box of them. And so the top, when I'm doing these, these kinds of, you know, in and over, in and over, in and over towards the back, I'll come up. Always go away from your project so you don't cut your piece. Go away, see? And then be gentle and go slow. And go a quarter inch away from your staple, okay? Gentle. Use your thumb as a guide so you don't bump in and cut this. See that? Not bad for a demo Irishman. So, yeah, yeah. And then you can, t I like to tidy along as I go. This is called salvage. I like to get rid of it because it will affect how things lay. And when you get these doubled up like this, you want to, you'll come through and you want to go, you know, 
lock those down. Okay, so we came around and then how you do this is I, I cut it real, real tight because I've been doing it a while. But what you'll do is you see this right here. Instead of having that fold over and have a single edge, I like to roll it. See that? And it just covered that staple. Uh, that's experience. You'll get it. And then you come down and you pull towards you on this end. See that? See that? Flawless. And yet you still have the pocket to where you can hide the screw to affix it to the bolt. So then, we've got that end. Then we'll come here. You're going to have to manipulate your pieces all the time. I mean, you get some weird angles. You're all over. You never know. It gets crazy. It's getting crazy in here. Okay. So, be mindful of that. We don't want to distort it. We want to ride that edge. So, we're going to... We're going to pull back and forward and we're going to come back here because we know like I said I like to keep it tidy that little ripple there guess what gone start in the middle bam bam okay then come back to the edge bam bam and you can push and pull as you go and you staple see that that is perfection come in the middle then go over to the other side and work your way in middle middle and on ends don't distort but okay now this I never leave stuff overlap too hard you know I just get rid of it but I leave enough to where I can come through and staple my top piece this is the thing I like to do I follow my edge and I come up at that angle. You see how I put that staple? That is things that uh, over time, you'll just get in the habit of doing. And then on the back, I always trim my stuff up. Always be neat with what you're doing. Don't leave a bunch of shit on, or stuff on the back of anything ever whether it's hidden underneath keep it clean because the next person because you never know they might be out drinking and hooping it up or just they might sit down with a pair of keys and ruin the seat well the next guy that has to come through and does this he'll see that and he'll understand that and anybody that does that will know that when you do this particular piece you're going to want to make it a little bit bigger and then you trim it off later but he'll see that and then like i did I'll put my marks on. But you see how nice and neat that is? That's all you need. You know, perfection isn't the back, that's hidden. But you want it tidy, you want it flat, all right? Okay, so we have that. And then I'm gonna come right up next to that edge and put one more staple there. So you want to define that edge every time you do that. And if you look, you'll see my rectangles go bam, 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 bam. And then be mindful of however it sits. It curves like this. So let your eye guide you. Take your time. Be the ball, grasshopper. Okay? And just, and just follow it. So I'm going to give you one more tutorial. And then that's it for this video on how to do gunnels. I always call them gun wells. I mean, I know what they are for heaven's sakes, but I always call them gun wells. And they're not gun wells, they're gunnels. Good grief. Can't take me nowhere. Okay, so, like on this application, like I said, this is the top, and you got a nice piece of foam that's stretched over. She's not going to have any problems with this. But how you do it now, okay, so this is number four. And remember, I mark them all accordingly. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is the perfect prime example. So always mark the front and the back so you don't get lost. Four and five. See that? And then this piece, got a square butt, that goes right there. Got a piece of piping right there. You got red on the outside, so it hides this. Always do the same color to same color when you're hiding with piping because you never know. 
it's just an insurance that the same colors there. So if it does get cut or something and they have to ride with it for a while before they can get it fixed, it, it kind of matches. I know it, that sounds ridiculous, but it's a thing, you know. Sometimes you can't afford to fix your boat right away if something gets messed up. But you see how tidy that is? And they're taut. And they're clean. So, and then that margin, those staples. Always make sure your staples are bop, 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 bop. Don't get crazy. Do one down here, do one down here, and keep that in the middle. Keep your eye on a rail. On a rail. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. Okay, so. Now, the first step is line up your foam. Make sure it's the right way. It is. Got your lip on each side. I'm good. So, first thing is line up number four. So, remember what I said. Got a razor blade, put it out of the way. Tools, staples, anything. See that staple there? Get that out of the way. Get in the habit. of picking stuff up when you're working. Pick it up. That staple right there could poke a hole in there and compromise my piece. Pick your stuff up as you go. I know my shop's a little dirty, but I've been putting in work. You know, at the end of the day, we cleaned it up. But So, we've been working our way down here. First one, we just lay it down, get it on, bam, bam. The second one, we put it in, fold it over, line it up, put the foam in, lay it over. Boom, 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 boom. We walk our way back so it's hidden. <clears throat> so do you remember what we do next? See our rectangles that follow all the way down? You gotta look and see how it looks. See? And I'm gonna go up and keep this long on the top and keep it short on the bottom. And then I'm gonna just go like this. I'm gonna fold it in. Because remember, we have to staple that down, good side down, and then fold it over. That's not correct, so that's why you leave it long, because it's gonna be at an angle, see that? So, you get in where you're fitting. You got two margins, bam and bam. That's why you mark them. I think that's about maybe an inch and a half on top. It'd be fatter on top than it is on the bottom. See, look at that, see how that lines up? You got plenty on the bottom, plenty on the top to wrap around. You got plenty on the end. So, I like that. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Yeah, we're good. So, what you do is you line it up. You like it. You put your hand on the bottom. You hold it down. You gently lay it over, okay? Put your fingers down there. Come back over here. Come right up to the foam. Sink two. Fold it back over. Double check. Pull it a little, a little, not, not to distort it. Well, actually, we're going to put one down here. So we got four on the bottom. I liked it. We're going to come up here. And we got four on the top. But we're going to pull it just a little snug and scooch up to that foam. We'll go two in the middle. Okay, four on the good rule of thumb. Four on the bottom, two in the middle, four on the top. These are where your screws go. You fold it over, look at that. Lays perfect. Okay, after you do that, what do you do? You fold it back over. Double check again. I like it, I like it. So, relief cuts, you'll get better at them. Once, see how I told you it was gonna be thicker on the top? So I'm gonna come across here. I'm gonna come right up to there. And then I'm gonna... Cut that out like that. Then I'm gonna grab my razor blade. And then remember, always away from your project. And then I'm going to quarter inch. My thumb is my guide that keeps me from cutting more or cutting into something that I don't want cut. Always pull and cut away from what you're doing, okay? Look at that. Pick up your stuff, put it off to your side, get it out of your way so you don't cut yourself. Safety is very important. Okay, so now we're good. 
and then our foam goes right in there. Whoops, this one. And double, oh, look at that. So that's a little thing you want to watch for. That's an old staple in there. Take that out of there. Feel your stuff. No reason for that to be in there ever. Okay, you got the right side down. Boom, boom. So then we take our tack. So I'm going to go, I like to go right up on the four, right up on the four. Leave these two open. Come right up with your, your adhesive in the middle. Okay, leave those. Two. Okay, so you want to you wanna put your tack down and a little inside the margin there as you're going from left to right. But on this, I just like to do it on the board. And remember, four on the top, four on the bottom, two in the middle, because your screws can go in there. Okay? Let that tack up. Blow it up. Remember, when you put this down, you'll, you you want to go your old foam right up on the margin, but you want to smash it into this pretty, pretty tough. But you want it just over the lip, barely when you're doing a a new job because this right here is going to come down and what's it going to do? It's going to cover that hard edge. That's why we left it a little heavy. Isn't this killer? You can do this yourself. Relax. This is, this is key. You're going to run across this on boats every single time. These are, these are ghosts. This is a ghost upholstery. You don't know, you, you go to walk up to a boat and try to, okay, how am I going to tear this thing apart? You gotta look for those screws. And if the guy did it right, they're either here or here, they're either here or here. They'll never be in the middle. Ever, ever, ever. Okay, so remember, four on the top, four on the bottom, two in the middle. Adhesive on the, on the staples alone. Leave those little pockets open if you can. If not, it's just glue, It'll, you can push it out. Line it up. Now remember, you can go up and mess it up. You can go down and mess it up, or you can leave it in the middle and do it right. I know, beating a dead horse. <clears throat> but see, that's way too high. But see now, it's not. So I'll push that in. And you're only going to get, when, you, when you, you want it snug, because you're going to get the flat when you do the edges. Don't, don't worry if it's too high, as long as it's top, okay? And, and lines up. So remember what we did last time? We walked up, bumped up to the foam, right a little ways from the top, and we'll come over here, eyeball it, we'll come right before that edge, and then we'll just keep our eyes straight. See that? Perfect staples. And we'll come back here and look again, and then we'll come on, on this side of the staple. Okay, and then we work on this end. Okay, we're coming out and down. So, bam, we're good. And then we'll just pull it down with our fingers. Keep them straight, keep them straight. Always look to your left and your peripheral and line them up straight. And then towards the bottom, you grab, that's why you leave it long. You grab that one and you pull it out and you line it up with the corresponding staples to your left. And then these, these edges, give them a couple knuckles. You know what I mean? You pound those suckers down. So then remember, always away from your project. Remember, and then your thumb is kind of your guide. You know, quarter inch and just go slow. And then walk around outside edge of those staples some people just don't care and just staple it down and that that still works like I could have left this all the way to the edge and then just went over it and glued it but no always bring it down to the wood take all the staples out I don't care what you're doing do that every time give them what they're paying for don't cheat or shortcut nobody in this upholstery special it's a treat I want to get my boat done I'm saving up money that tells you everything right there. Do them right. Love them up. Love them up. That's why they're beating down my door. You won't have a life. You do this right, keep these principles, 
I mean, you know what I mean. You'll have a life. You'll have a good life. You know, I walk in the shadows of my father in heaven. And he gives me everything I need because I'm good to folks. You know, whatever floats your boat. I just have to be a praying, happen to be a praying man. So that's my thing. But whatever you do is fine with me. If you ever want to get close to Jesus, just give me a call. <laughs> okay. So, but see that? Look at that. And then we'll come over here. But you do the outside edges. Remember I told you never staple that one. Never go for that definition right away. And then you butt up next to that foam. And you'll see what I mean when we put this in. Because it goes upside down and in and over on itself. And it's hidden with a piece of, of, of uh, 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 piping. Welt cord. That's what it is, but... So, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I left my razor blade there. Taking my own advice. Um, so, on this top part, remember what we did last time? We got a relief cut we got to do. So, we'll come in from the top at an angle there. And then we'll get that salvage off. And this, remember, we stopped short. See, we stopped short a little bit there. See that little nipple there? You can scooch that over. See? And don't worry about it buckling in the middle. And remember, again, come down, pull out, come over, then come back, go in the middle, then go to the back. Oh, shit, ran out of staples. So, come in the middle. Then go over to the back, secure that, and then go in the middle. Then come to the front, go in the middle, then go to the side it, and then go beside that. Left to right, left to right. Then secure it all the way across the board. I don't even have to look at the top. I already know it's perfect. See? That's how it's done. Then you come up with that last staple. Bam! Look at that definition. Then you come up to the top. Walk over to the adjacent piece, one on the top, and then this piece, one on the top towards the back. It's the way I do it. Do it that way, never change it. So, away from the project. Away from the project and your hand. So, that's the principle of the walkthrough. So, this is another project. I don't have time for this part yet, but uh, it's two pieces. You take the blue piece, sew your piping down, and then sew the red onto that. To where when you, you know, good side to good side, so when you fold them out, they're good. Fold the red down, staple it down perfectly lined up, okay? Then you glue this down, then you fold it over, the piping's in the middle, wrap it around and staple it. This is the same principle right here for the end of this, okay? Same thing. We're just gonna, it's gonna be a piece of blue instead. And then it's gonna come right down to here, okay? But on this one, I'm gonna leave this one open because I'm gonna squish this inside of it. That's kind of another lesson for another day when you merge three pieces like this. That's why that line goes all the way down. So I'm Colt Allen from Spittin' Tax Upholstery. Um, like and subscribe my to my channel. Uh, you can do this. You can do this. God bless you. See you around like a donut.